Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Despite the fact that the Assassin's Creed series features multiple different main characters in different time periods, Ezio Auditore still feels like the face of the franchise. This is because he appeared in three main games as well as numerous other Assassin's Creed titles. Information about Ezio is scattered everywhere, but in this video, I have gathered the most important and interesting facts about the Master Assassin. Not related to Altair Modern Day Assassin is the ancestor of both Ezio and Altair. However, Ezio was not a descendant of Altair. As shared by the series writer, Darby McDevitt, the two assassins from the past are at opposite ends of Desmond's family tree. Featured fighter in Soul Calibur V several games paid tribute to Ezio by including his assassin's robes as an additional outfit. However, Soul Calibur V went a step further by making him a playable character. He wore his brotherhood attire and had access to a variety of his signature weapons. Inspired by George Clooney's character Brotherhood is often considered one of the best assassins in history. The game's creed transformed Ezio from the young assassin he was in Assassin's Creed II into a truly high-ranking member of the Order. Naturally, his personality evolved along the way. In fact, the version of the Brotherhood's protagonist was partially inspired by George Clooney's character in Up in the Air. The drama depicts Clooney's character, Ryan Bingham, as he travels the country firing people. According to lead writer Jeffrey Yohalem, Ryan's sense of loneliness and inclination to hide his emotions were embodied in Ezio. Live-action version exists something that is often forgotten about Ezio is that the character made his debut, before Assassin's Creed II. Yes, his actual first appearance was in a short film called, Assassin's Creed Lineage. The story revolves around Ezio's father, Giovanni, as he unravels a conspiracy surrounding Florence. Since Ezio was still a young nobleman during the events of the film, he was portrayed by actor Devin Bostic, known for playing Roderick in the The Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies. Modified Hidden Blade Ezio, with the help of his friend Leonardo da Vinci, is responsible for modifying the design of the Hidden Blade. Prior to Ezio, assassins had to amputate their ring finger to make room for the hidden blade that could be extended from the wrist. But da Vinci changed the weapon's design, making it deploy at an angle that no longer required the user to remove their ring finger. Shared facial resemblance with his descendant Ezio Auditore de Firenze bears a striking facial resemblance to his modern-day descendant, Desmond Miles. While other assassins and their descendants had little in common in terms of facial features, Ezio and Desmond had nearly identical faces with only minor differences between them. Both assassins also shared a common scar on their upper and lower lips on the right side of their faces. Received the most character development in the series despite the various assassins in the Assassin's Creed series, receiving significant character development, Ezio had the honor of being the most extensively developed character in the franchise. Throughout three games, players accompany Ezio on his journey from being a mere initiate into the Order. He begins his journey driven by the desire for revenge for the murder of his family, but eventually becomes arguably the most legendary assassin in the series convinced his mother to speak again like many other female characters in Assassin's Creed, Maria Auditore never received much screen time. However, she had a significant reason for that. When the Templars hanged her husband and two sons in the middle of Florence, she fell into a comatose state and refused to speak to anyone. Instead, she prayed at the Auditore Villa. Ezio managed to convince her to break her silence by collecting all 100 feathers in honor of his missing younger brother. Once he obtained them, Maria thanked her only remaining son. There when Leonardo da Vinci died Assassin's Creed games are known for their historical accuracy. As a result, they feature distorted versions of real people. One of the best examples is Leonardo da Vinci, who provided significant assistance to Ezio during Assassin's Creed II and Brotherhood. Spent his remaining years with Sophia Sartre in Revelations, Ezio's main love interest was a bookstore owner named Sophia Sartre. They flirted a lot upon their first meeting, and their feelings grew more serious over time. By the end of Revelations, their romance became quite apparent, and it continued after the events of the game as they settled together in Tuscany and had two children. 
Abstergo Entertainment declined to use Ezio in their products Abstergo Entertainment, a company controlled by the Templars, uses real animus memories to create entertainment products. Some of their notable projects include the film, The Devil's Caribbean, featuring Edward Kenway and Avellini de Grandpre and a video game titled Liberation. However, they refused to use any memories related to Ezio's adventures, citing his corruptibility and controversial behavior as the reasons for avoiding the character. Trained Xiao Jun while trying to live out his remaining years peacefully, Ezio was visited by the young assassin Xiao Jun. She sought the guidance of the old master in reviving the order, but he was not interested in returning to that life. Instead, he shared more about what it truly meant to be an assassin and provided general advice on how to assist the Brotherhood. His death over the years of his career as an assassin, Ezio managed to survive numerous confrontations with some of the most significant villains in the franchise. However, time catches up with everyone, even Ezio. At the age of 65, he traveled to Florence with his wife and daughter on business. While feeling a bit tired, he rested on a bench while his loved ones went shopping. After a brief conversation with a stranger, he experienced chest pain and passed away. In his final moments, he was at peace, smiling at his family. Well, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe and like it, and I'll see you in another video.